You are live. Please do not swear. Good morning, good morning. See who joins me this morning, who's going to be first on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Good morning, Shazze. Do you mean lunch? Well, actually, it's still breakfast time, technically. It's nearly brunch. I should have called it brunch, shouldn't I? Brunch with Lindsay instead of breakfast, but never mind. It's before 12 o'clock, so um, it's, it's still technically morning, Tracy. <laughs> hey, uh, morning, afternoon, Sheila. Good morning, good evening. I don't know what time it is. Um, I hope everybody's well today. Um, and football's coming home. I told you, have faith, have faith, need to have faith in the football. Um, so, um, I've just popped on before I have my breakfast. Um, hope everybody's well, hope everybody watched the football. Um, and uh, yes, so uh, I hope you're liking the colors, <laughs> big difference, isn't it, from the purples. Um, thank you, Andrew. You like the colour? Well, it's sort of golden. It's a gold blonde. Um, and then we've got the brown. Not that you can see the brown. We've got the brown going in there. Look behind. Um, such pretty hair. Great score at the footy yesterday. It was. It was. Um, the Ma Miss Malibu joined me last night, uh, and uh, Mister um, Mister Diet Coke. <laughs> Um, so yes, had a bit of fun and games. Feeling a little bit ropey this morning, um, but I did just go to bed and crash last night. Um, so yes, but uh, I enjoyed the match. Morning, Leah, my lovely lady. How are you? Morning, Claire. Hope everybody's well. So the weather this morning is forecast. Shit, I, where's my book, love, to read? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so the weather this morning, we have got a bit of sunshine now with blue clouds, but unfortunately around the one, two o'clock mark, it's, the heavens are going to open and it's going to pee it down. Um, and then the rain set in for, I think it said for the, about the next four days. Uh, morning, Joanne, my lovely. Thank you, Thank sweet. You um, what? What's the weather going to be like in Sheffield today? Today's forecast for Sheffield is 19 degrees with scattered showers. Yeah, if you look at the showers, it starts at two and it doesn't stop. Um, it's raining in Lancashire. No, we're going to be getting that quite shortly, um, I think. Um, so, yeah. So, if it does rain, I'm going to be doing tarot this evening um, with my new pack of tarot's. Um, but, yeah, so I'll be showing them off. Uh, but, yeah, if, if it doesn't, but it will be nine o'clock. Um, that I go live with tarot. It will be nine while ten. Or do I do ten o'clock tarot? Mm -hmm. Do do do. Um, I'll post. I'll post when we do it because I'm trying to keep the same times as we would do if we were live. Um, so I may do tarot around about ten o'clock mark. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants tarot reading, it will be around ten o'clock. Good morning, Lisa. Morning, Sandy. Hope you're well. Um. So, yes, yeah, tarot this evening if it rains. Um, hopefully it would. Hopefully we're going to find some indoor locations as well to go to. We have forecast thunderstorms here in the Midlands. We have heavy rain already this morning. Oh, Joanne, that's all heading our way. We had a bit of thunder last night. Um, and I only saw one flash of lightning that lit the room up slightly and then, like, shot back off. So, uh, yeah. Um, right, so we, are we ready? Ugh, if I can reach the book. I'm dying. Uh, I loved my reading. Oh, Shazzy, you're more than welcome, my lovely lady. Um, it was a good reading. It was. Um, we're on the 4th of July today. So happy 4th of July to all our lovely American family over there. Uh, morning, uh, Tanya. Thank you, my lovely. Um, oh, it's positive, like, profuse, like, 
precipitating here. Uh, morning, Debs. We've got sunshine and showers in the southeast. Hopefully, thunderstorm will clear my headache. I hope so, um, Lisa, because it's, there's nothing worse uh, than a thunderstorm. Yolanda can, might turn around and say good morning. Oh, no, she's been ignorant and just walked off without <laughs> saying good morning to you all. Um, yeah, in a snazzy little dressing gown. Um, so, <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Shazze. Um, so, 4th of July, are we ready for the On This Day in History uh, chapter? 4th of July, the fact that the organisers had not got, had not, I'll start again with my teeth in. <laughs> Right, are we ready? The fact that the organisers had even got representatives from 13 of the British colonies in North America in the same room was itself cause for celebration. Then surely getting the Second Continental Congress to approve a resolution of independence from Great Britain on the 2nd of July meant, as John Adams wrote, that the second would be celebrated by succeeding generations as the first, as the great anniversary festival. Well, he was nearly right. Representatives now turned down their attention to drawing up a formal declaration of independence, which provided their reasoning. It was approved today on the 4th of July, and of course it is this anniversary rather than that of the vote two days earlier which had been the date celebrated by U.S. citizens ever since as Independence Day. The text of declaration was drawn up by a committee of five, of whom Thomas Jefferson acted as the principal author. Its words echoes down the ages. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Connolly, con colonists in North Africa, in North America, it's asserted, were every bit the equal of men in Britain, not commodities to be taxed without their approval. The fact that the meaning of all men would require long debate and often further brutal conflict until it embraced both women and people of all races does not diminish the power of the original se se sentiment. By the time that independence was declared, the war which the United States achieved its separation from Great Britain had begun. Already it looked, as it did duly prove, that the effort of imposing order upon unwilling colonists thousands of miles from home would prove too much. And that is what happened on the 4th of July in history. Uh, I'm up and awake, Yolanda. Uh, morning, Kelly, my lovely lady. Uh, morning, Yolanda, you ignorant woman. <laughs> Me. Uh, downpour here now, waiting for thunder and lightning. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of thunder and lightning. Morning, Elizabeth, my beautiful lady. Uh, not a big fan of thunder and lightning. I, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll, have, I'll, I'll sit here and cry. Uh, when thunder and lightning is happening. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said tonight, tarot for everybody that's joining, who's just joining us. Uh, evening, Judith. Morning, Judith. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, resting after finishing doing garden, knackered. Uh, come on, Dave, you can do more than garden. <laughs> uh, I'm in Medway. Um, Elizabeth says, hey, Yolanda. Uh, obviously, some of you are seeing others that are, I'm mentioning names on on because we're live on Facebook and YouTube uh, at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm streaming to both. Um, I love thunderstorms. I like thunderstorms if they're going to clear the air. I don't like a thunderstorm if it's not going to clear the air. And this thunderstorm that's coming in isn't going to clear the air. There's going to be more later on in the week, um, which I'm not a fan of. Um, it reminds me of Wizard of Oz. <laughs> when that storm comes and the tornadoes start whisking the house away. Um, I don't know, crazy, crazy. Me and Tracer shoveled 14 stone into the garden. Um, you or Tracer, <laughs> my money's more on Tracy Dave. <laughs> uh, I love a good sunstorm, says uh, Sandy. Um, but yeah, 
<clears throat> my voice is sore from all the shouting last night that I did. Um, and uh, I shouted at John and Rob last night for uh, saying two words. Guys. <laughs> The but the context of that is we're watching Sons of Anarchy and in the first season of Sons of Anarchy Jesus Christ was said how many times? Know, in, in the full seasons. So, um, 200 and some Yeah, in the full season of Sons of Anarchy um, it was said uh, 200 and odd times so John and Rob have decided to start saying the words every time something happens instead of, instead they say swearing. yeah, they said it instead of swearing but then in season four were it or season three one at seasons anyway they had to in morning irene they had to sort of like uh cut it down a bit because yeah it were anti-semitic so now they either just go jeez or be jesus um so yeah i'm still in bed exhausted today no one to make me a brew though oh claire where's youngin <laughs> Get him to make you. He makes your pizzas. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I love your hair. Oh, thank you, uh, Kelly. It's taking me a bit of time to get used to it, but um, I'm liking it while it's up off my face. But it is a little bit dry uh, in the blonde. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it properly in the golden blonde. Um, it does look a bit dry, but that, obviously that's because I've had uh, bleach all over the hair and two lots on the fringe. Um, so yeah, on this bit of blonde, there was two lots of bleach that went on that to get it as light as we could. Uh, and the dot and the back, we only put one lot of bleach on because it's just the brown, um, so it didn't need lifting as much. But uh, yeah, so this this front bit will be changing colours. Um, he got he's not surfaced yet. He drank quite a lot last night. I'm not surprised. I think all of the all of England would have been uh, celebrating last night. For a 4 0 win. <laughs> oh dear. Who did we play? <laughs> yeah, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, he's not so. Uh, it's near 9 pm Sunday. And yes, had a good day, Yolanda. Oh, I really hope you did have a good day. And um, 9 pm Sunday. Oh, goodness me. It's only 11.58 here, two minutes to 12 o'clock, and then I can eat something um, because I've had no food yet. Um, so this morning I'm having Alpen, strawberries, and uh, some natural free yogurt, and it's 161 calories. So that's my breakfast or my dinner, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, hit that like button. <laughs> Hey dear, I love the England match. They were how fab were our team. I hope I'm always feel very sad for the opposition teams too. The Ukraine fans looked crushed last night, but their manager was congratulating our players. Well, do you know it could have been us that were crushed last night again. So uh, for me, um, all is fair in love and war. <laughs> oh, you're working tomorrow, Irene. Hope you have a good day, my lovely. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's it's just been a, what a crazy week, um, and what a crazy uh, turnaround to, to our football. Um, but I did have faith at the very beginning. I said we would get as far as we. I said we were going to. I said we're going to win it. I said that from the beginning. Um, I said that from. I said, did say that from the beginning. But I say that every time. I'm in the Shoalhaven in. New SW Australia. Oh wow, sending love across the waters, Irene, to you, my beauts. Um, I love Australia, such a beautiful country. Uh, my mum's been there on holiday to um, Australia, and um, they did Thailand, Australia, and they did a stop off. Uh, we're in Hong Kong, might have been Hong Kong. Um, but they've got friends in Australia. But they I'll tell you where my mum's friends live. They live in where all the government people live. Um, and don't ask me what area is that because I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, um, is it camp? What? Where my mum's friends live? Orsham. John's family's Orsham in, in Australia. Um, but yeah, my mum's been out. Mum goes out to Australia. We've got friends out there. Um, both worked for government and no kids, so they're right rich. Um, bad, really, but um, yeah. Uh, I was at the hospital last night and my daughter 
all night because she had an accident yesterday. She got her foot trapped in a fence and I had to pull her out. I think she might have broken it just the next ray. She's broken it and her foot. Oh, Kelly. Do you know that must be awful, my lovely? Um I hope it's a I hope it's um an easy break to be mended once it's um, been casted and everything else. But send our love to uh, your daughter, my love, like, and love, love and healing to you both. Um, hopefully she'll be she'll be in she'll be as soon as pots off they'll get her back working. And um, I know they said don't they, the younger they are when they break the bones, the the easier it is um, for them to recover. So uh, fingers crossed for her, my love. Let us know how she gets on, Keller. Um, Oh, thank you, uh, Irene. Um, it means a lot when uh, when um, that we know that you enjoy it. So uh, thank you. Uh, it's cold here, yeah, because isn't it winter time now, Australia and New Zealand? Um, it's your winter time, isn't it now, Irene? Uh, I'm going to have no added sugar, fruit juice blended with fresh strawberries and grapes. But you eating more sugar? Might be no added sugar, but you eating sugar with your blended strawberries and grapes, you numps. Um, tell Dave to wait. Dave, wake up and stop falling asleep. Get some work done. You've done now. <laughs> uh, love to the mom on Facebook whose child was in hospital. That's love from Yolanda Keller. Uh, she's 16. Wow. Uh, make sure, Keller, tell her to make sure that she does um, follow what the, um, what do you call them? Afterwards, um, tell you, you know when they do exercises after, tell to listen to them. I, sh I, sh I dislocated my knee and uh, shattered my ankle bones. Um, in, dislocated my knee at 16, shattered my ankle bone when I was about 22, 23. Um, they had to rebuild my ankle bone. And that's the cause of the damage I've got to my, to my spine and my legs. So make sure she listens to the physiotherapy and does what she needs to do, my lovely, uh, because it will affect her further down the line, trust me. Um, only one thing would terrify me is spiders. But, you know, when my mum went to Australia, she said they hardly saw anything. They actually did. Uh, they did a trip out um, into bush. And uh, my mum said that they, they it, people think when you don't live in Australia that they've seen these spiders or these snakes or these critters daily. Um, and I'm not saying that in some parts that you won't, but in the part where my mum went, it was, um, she said that they hardly saw anything. Um, but you do have to, I think she did say you do have to check the bathroom before you use it, though. Um, your land is in my house, Irene. <laughs> Um, it, Tanya's put it's 11 p.m. over here in New Zealand. We are in our winter and we have one overnight, so in my bed, nice and warm. Well, you have sweet dreams, Tanya, when you uh, pop off to sleep, my lovely lady. And uh, yeah, so not be long till summertime because our winter's not far off. I'm allowed, Dave Mason. You're not allowed. Um, but I can't eat grapes or strawberries without eating the full punnets. Yes, but eating the full punnets is still less calories than uh, moshing them up um, into a fruit, a fruit, fruit drink. Um, so, yeah, you'd still eat, have less calories eating the whole thing, Claire, than you would do smashing them all up into a drink. Um, oh, the child in hospital has a quick recovery. That's from Joanne. Uh, never been to England, hopefully one day. Irene, if ever you do pop across, let us know and we'll uh, drive up to uh, wherever you land and meet you. Uh, afternoon, Carol. Um, where am I going now? Uncle that lives in Australia, but I'm not sure whereabouts. Uh, my my mum's other half used to shark fishing in um, Australia. Um, he used to live out in Bush with some friends of his. And uh, they used to go shark fishing. And there were a young lad that used to go with them. And, you know, like if great whites were coming, he'd actually dive into the water. And uh, Glyn and um, a load of his friends said that he'd die young. And um, they thought that he'd get, they thought it'd obviously that it'd be a shark attack that got him. And it weren't. It was actually a bike accident driving in, in, in bush. But, um yeah, uh, a man with no fear he was. Uh, those massive crab-like spiders that cling to buildings and bins. Joanne! They're not hurt yet. <laughs> um, 
Oh my God, Irene, I'm shuddling now. Huntsmen are huge but harmless. Just need to check your shoes for red backs and funnel webs. That's it. I, but you know, for us, it, 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 I think for people that live in Australia, it's a natural thing that you do every morning that you get up because obviously it's something that um, you're brought up around. Whereas the people in UK are scared of spiders that can't even hurt them. We don't have a, really any poisonous spiders. I mean, I know there's something about that silly widow one um, that can do your nasty bites, and if it's not treated, it can uh, amputate. But I think that's further down south than where we are. But far from that, they're just house spiders, and people in UK are scared of house spiders. Um, so, yeah, the rain's here. Oh, Claire, you're joking. We've still got sunshine here. Um, hopefully it's not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Uh, I had a huge huntsman in my house for two weeks. I said, hi, buddy, every, every morning, every day till he decided to leave. Oh, Irene, do you know what? That's off to you because I make John catch him and release him. We do the catch and release spider thing uh, in this house. If there's a spider that comes in, it is caught and it is kindly released into the garden. But did you know that a spider leaves a, leaves a scent? So if you don't actually, if you open your door and you just let it out, nine times out of ten, that spider's going to find its way back in because it follows its scent trail. Um, whereas though, if you put them to the bottom of the garden, uh, they don't. They, they, it's very hard for them to uh, pick up the scent trail again, so they, they're less likely to come back in. Um, so for all those of you that do save the spiders, put them to the bottom at garden. You've got to be so far away from house because they leave like a scent trail. I never knew that. Um, I had a nest of them outside my house, the Black Widows. Oh, Lisa, I'd have cried. We've got the Harvest Spider and has huge kneecaps and wears hobnail boots. It's repulsive. Oh, Yolanda, hobnail boots. <laughs> oh, oh, morning, Anne. Um, tipping it down in Birmingham. Oh, no. We're definitely getting that raining, aren't we? Um, after... Katie's accident when I got back early hours this morning so my bathroom door just opened by itself and plays by itself. What does that mean? Probably just means that you are loved one round you don't that's just moving door. If you look at it differently and you're looking at it more on a logical term, it could be that there was a draft coming in from somewhere. Um, but to me personally, I always think that as long as there's no windows and no draft that can cause it, for me, then it's just a spirit's energy just coming round a loved one's energy just to let you know that you're not on your own and they're with you. Um, soon dealt with them. I bet you did. I bet you did, Lisa. Uh, and I wonder if it's heading north or south. Um, I, I never realised that, Joanne. Um, but yeah, it's um, that's, that's what I've read. So uh, I have the, I have the hat. I have, I have the have the house, Mister Spider. I'm off approach. Claire, just catch. I normally do. If I see him, I just put a glass over him, and then I leave them while John or uh, Rob gets up, and then they can very kindly take the spiders out. Um, going north, it's been down forty minutes here in GL five in Gloucester. Uh, bless you, Irene. You are an angel. I am an avid animal lover too. Yeah, we are. Um, all animals are precious. Just some of them are more uglier than others. Um, but then again, we can say that for you. <laughs> and I don't mean ugly looking, I mean ugly on the inside. Um, oh, wow, David. I miss what David's, but oh, Gloucester, yes. Uh, so, yeah, so um, we will be live later on members. And tonight, I think if there is rain, it will be tarot's. I will post what time it is. I think it's going to be, it might be 10 o'clock that I go live with tarot's for an hour. Um, and then we can go on members just before we do tarot. So we'll probably do members about nine o'clock. Uh, it might just be a chit chat. Uh, it might be um, a workshop of some sort. Um, I'll see what we've got uh, planned. And then 10 o'clock, I'll be doing uh, tarot on uh, Facebook and YouTube. I'll stream yard it. The house only got built about two years ago and I've had really feel things happening ever since I moved in. Um did it scare you, Kelly? Do you get are you fearful of it, or is it just one of them things that you think, well, don't like shrug your shoulders to you, it's not causing any upset to you or anything like that? 
Um, I used the glass and a piece of card method of letting them out too, unless they escape and run, then I throw everything at them. <laughs> I could just imagine you doing that, Joanne. Um, but yeah, they are exactly, we do exactly the same catch and release on all animals. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you have to, don't you? So I am going to shoot now and uh, get things organised for this afternoon. Uh, fab, look forward to the later night lives, my time of day when I'm awake. I know, could be energies from the land. It could be Sheila, it could be. Um, but as long as you're not fearful of what's happening or it's not causing any um, distress to you, then it's not too bad. Um, but let me know, uh, Kelly, messages if you need to, and I can talk you through doing um, like a house clearance uh, like a prayer or something um depends on what your beliefs are and everything else so yeah caught trace but can't let her go she won't leave <laughs> john says that about me <laughs> right guys catch you all later love you loads have a great day have a great evening sweet dreams to those off to bed and mwah, love you loads take care guys bye <laughs>